Hi, hello, my dear students. A very good evening to all of you. Warm welcome to Tirito Live Classes. In the last class, we have started a chapter, linear equations in two variables. So, in that class, we have discussed linear equation in one variable and linear equations in two variables and how to solve the given linear equations when the linear equation is in one variable and two variables. Okay. So, linear equations in two variables. In today's class, we are going to discuss graph of linear equations in two variables. <coughs> so, once we can recap what we have discussed in the previous class. Linear equation in one variable. So, ax plus b equal to 0 form. Next, solution of linear equation in one variable. The value of x which satisfies the given e equation where x means that is variable. So, that is known as solution or root of the given linear equation. Next, linear equation in two variables. Linear equation in two variables. Next, solutions of linear equation. So, we have discussed these concepts in the last class. Now, in today's class, we are going to discuss. We will learn the following concepts in this session. Graph of linear equation in two variables equations of lines parallel to x axis and y axis. So, actually different methods are there for solving the given linear equations in two variables. Okay. In those methods by using graph, by using graph everyone knows about the graphs because in 8th standard also we have done problems related to graph sheets. So, by using the graphs we can easily find the solution or root of the given linear equation. After that, we can discuss equations of lines parallel to x axis and y axis. Actually, in the previous chapter coordinate geometry, we have discussed about x axis and y axis. So, now we can discuss the equations parallel to x axis and y axis. So, we are going to discuss these concepts in today's class and we can do problems related to those concepts. Now, take this one. Le graph of linear equation in two variables. Okay. So, already we have some method how to find the given linear equation. So, by using graph, we can find the solution of the given linear equation. To draw a graph of linear equation a x plus b y plus c equal to 0. So, when a, b, c are constants and x comma y are variables, but a and b must be not equal to 0. Then we know that is the standard form of the linear equation in two variables. We proceed according to the following steps. Step 1, express y in terms of x means ax plus by plus c equal to 0. This is the linear equation in the standard form having two variables x and y. So, here express y in terms of x. So, you can keep b y in LHS only. You, by taking a x and t to that side, we can write minus a x minus c. Take a x to LHS that should be minus a x. Take c to RHS that should be minus c to get the value of y by dividing on both sides by b, you will get y equal to minus a by b x minus c by b. Now, by observing this equation clearly where LHS is y, RHS contains the variable x. So, that is why we can say, so this, this expression is expressed in y in terms of x express y in terms of x that is step 1. Step 2, put some convenient values of x and find the corresponding values of y satisfying the given equation. So, for example, if we have 2x minus y equal to some 3. So, if you take 2x to that side and minus y to that side, we can write y equal to 2x minus 3. In place of x by taking different different values, you will get different different values of y. For example, if you take x equal to 0, 2 into 0, 0, y equal to minus 3. 
Next, if you suppose that x is equal to 1, then you will get y equal to 2 1 2 minus 3 minus 1. So, if you take x equal to minus 3, y equal to 2 into minus 3, minus 6 minus 3 minus 9. In place of x by taking different different values, we are getting different different values of y. Put some convenient values of x and find the corresponding values of y satisfying the given equation. You may take any number of values. It is not necessary to take 4 values or 5 values or 10 values. You may consider any number of values in place of x. If you take 3 values of x, then corresponding to those values of x, you will get 3 values of 5. If you take 10 values of x, corresponding to that, you will get 10 values of 5. You may take any number of values of x according to that you will get the values of y. There is no restriction for taking the values of x. Put some convenient values of x and find the corresponding values of y satisfying the given equation. In place of x by putting some values after simplification you will get the values of y that is step 2. Step 3 write down the values of x and y in the form of a table write down the values of x and y in the form of a table. So, if it suppose that these are the values of x and these are the values of y. So, for example, if you have taken 3 values or 4, 2 values or 4 values. So, in place of x write the values of x corresponding to those values of x you can write them in the second row. Write down the values of x and y in the form of a table. Step 4. Plot the ordered pairs x comma y. So, we have discussed about ordered pair in the chapter coordinate geometry. So, if you take two numbers in the bracket like this by separating them by comma, then we know this is an ordered pair. So, where x is known as x coordinate or abscissa and y is known as y coordinate or ordinate. Plot the ordered pairs x comma y from the table on the graph paper. Step 5. Join the points by a straight line and extend it on both directions. Thus, line represents the graph of ax plus by plus c equal 0. Remember, ax plus by plus c equal 0 equation represents always a straight line. So, you will not get another line. So, always you will get straight line only, you will not get curved line or you will not get circle, you will not get uh, square like that. So, by joining all the points on the graph paper, you may take any number of points. So, just I told you know, according to the values of x, you will get the values of y. By taking the values of x and by taking the values of y in the brackets, you will get the ordered pairs. By plotting those ordered pairs on the graph paper, by joining them, you will get a straight line. Remember, the equation ax plus by plus c equal 0 always represents a straight line. Okay. So, here only 5 steps are there. So, in first step what we have to take? So, first take the given equation ax plus by plus c equal to 0. Express that equation in terms of x. So, y equal to some value. In place of x in RHS put some values. According to those values of x, you will get the values of y. After getting the values of x and y, write the ordered pairs. So, by plotting those ordered pairs on the graph paper and by joining them, you will get a straight line. Okay. On both sides, you can extend the line. Always the equation or the ax plus by plus c equal 0 represents a straight line only. Now, according to this, now let us do some problems. Okay. A graph paper is needed in the examination they can provide or you may take one white paper on that white paper you can take x axis and y axis already we know right side of 0 are positive real numbers left side of 0 are negative real numbers above 0 positive real numbers below 0 negative real numbers positive x axis negative x axis positive y axis negative y axis now draw the graph of 2x minus y plus 3 equal to 0. Using the graph, find the value of y when x equal to 2 and x equal to minus 3. So, here by observing 
the given equation 2x minus y plus 3 equal to 0. 2x minus y plus 3 equal to 0. So, if you take 2x and 3 to that side, you will get minus y equal to minus 2x minus 3. In RHS, if you take minus as common, minus y equal to minus of 2x plus 3. On both sides, minus minus get cancelled. So, y equal to 2x plus 3 y equal to x plus 3. According to the table, we have the values of x as minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1. You may have doubts. Sir, why are you taking those values only? I want to take minus 3, minus 4, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1 to your wish. You may take the values as your wish. Already I told you, there is no restriction for taking the values of x. But according to the values of x only, you will get the values of y. So, you may take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here I have taken 1, 2, 3, 4 values only. If you want, you can take 5 values or 6 values or 8 values. So, whatever the number of values of x may be, according to those values, you will get the values of y. So, by observing this table where x equal to minus 2, where we have x equal to minus 2. So, in place of x, if you write minus 2, 2 into minus 2 plus 3, 2 into minus 2 minus 4 plus 3. So, we got minus 1. So, that is this part. Next, in place of x, if you take minus 1, you will get y equal to 2 into minus 1 plus 3. 2 into minus 1 is minus 2 plus 3. 3 minus 2 equal to 1. Similarly, in place of x, if you take 0, y equal to 2 into 0, 0 plus 3. So, we got 3. Next, in place of x, by writing 1, you will get y equal to 2 into 1, 2 plus 3 equal to 5. Okay. So, here I have taken some values of x. They are minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1. So, it is better to take 2 or 3 negative values, 0 and 2 or 3 positive values. But it is not necessary to take like that only. If you want to take another values, you can take them. So, but it is better to take some negative values 0 and some positive values. Now, by observing these points, by observing these points, after getting the values of y, according to the values of x, after getting the values of y, so minus 2 comma minus 1, by writing the ordered pairs, minus 2 comma minus 1 comma minus 1 comma 1 comma 0 comma 3 comma 1 comma 5. 1 comma. Here just I can explain how to draw the graph. Ma. In the next slide, we have the lead graph. So, just we can take one graph paper. Ma. On that graph paper, you can put two perpendicular lines. Already we know they are x axis and y axis. So, this is origin 0. This is positive x axis. This is positive y axis. This is negative x axis and this is negative y axis. We know right side of 0 are positive real numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so on. Left side of 0, we have negative real numbers minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, so on. Next on positive y axis, we can take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so on. On negative y axis, we can take minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, so on. Now, if you take x equal to minus 2, so x equal to minus 2 means this part and y equal to minus 1. So, y equal to minus 1 means this part. So, x equal to minus 2 and y equal to minus 1. So, we can take this is the point minus 2 comma minus 1. You may take that is the point P or uh, point A, your wish. If you suppose that this is point A. Next, minus 1 comma 1 x equal to minus 1, y equal to 1. So, x equal to minus 1 and y equal to 1. So, this is x equal to minus 1. This is x equal to minus 1 and y equal to 1 means positive. So, you can take this is the point B, minus 1 comma 1. Next, if you take 0 comma 3. So, x, x is 0. 
x coordinate is 0, y coordinate is 3. x coordinate 0 means we have to take on y axis. For every point on y axis, we know x coordinate is 0 and y coordinate equal to 3. So, we can take this is the point to see 0 comma 3. Next 1 comma 5, x coordinate is 1, y coordinate is 5. So, you can take this is the point D, 1 comma 5. So, here we have taken uh, 4 values of x. According to that, we got 4 values of y. So, that is why we got 4 points A, B, C, D. So, by joining A, B, C, D like this. So, by joining A, B, C, D like this, you will get a straight line like this. After getting the straight line on both sides, you can extend the straight line like this. Now, this line represent the graph of the linear equation 2x minus 5 plus 3 equal to 0. Okay. So, this is just rough diagram for your understanding purpose only. Here we have the neat diagram like this. Okay. Here on this is positive x axis, this is positive y axis, this is origin, this is negative x axis, this is negative y axis. So, with respect to the figure by taking minus 3 comma 3, here we have minus 2 comma minus 1, minus 1 comma 1, 0 comma 3. Here I have taken some extra values minus 3, minus 2 like this. So, here we have a, b, c, d, g like this. So, by plotting all those points on the graph paper, you will get the graph of the straight line like this. Okay. Here in the graph, we have minus 3 comma minus 3 also. So, here actually I have taken minus 2. If you take x equal to minus 3, if you take x equal to minus 3, then 2 into minus 3, minus 6 plus 3, minus 3. Also, they are asking find the value of y when x equal to 2 and x equal to minus 3. So, here 0, this is 1, this is 2. When x equal to 2, we got y equal to 7. So, this is 0, this is 1, this is 2. And on positive y axis, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, this is x equal to 2. When x equal to 2, we have y equal to 7. So, if x equal to 2, if x equal to 2, then y equal to 7. Also, they are asking what is the value of y if x equal to minus 3. So, if x equal to minus 3 means this part. If x equal to minus 3, here x equal to minus 3 means that is negative 0, this is minus 1, this is minus 2, this is minus 3. On negative y axis, we can take this is minus 1, this is minus 2, this is minus 3. So, by observing this point f, when x equal to minus 3, we got y is also minus 3. So, that is why when x equal to 2, the value of y is 7. When x equal to minus 3 and the value of y is also minus 3. So, according to the table, I have taken minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. If you want, you can take minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 like that. Okay. Hope you understood. All the problems we can do like this only in graphical method. So, first you have to observe the given linear equation, express that equation in terms of y. In place of x, you can substitute some values. According to those values of x, you will get the values of y. After getting the values of x and y, write them as ordered pairs. Write them as ordered pairs and you can plot those ordered pairs on the graph paper like this. So, after getting all the points, join them. After getting the straight line on both sides, you can extend that line. Okay. Next one. Draw the graph of 2x plus 3y equal to 11. From this graph, find the values of y when x equal to 7 and x equal to minus 8. Here also you can take some values. Here actually, by observing, here I have taken minus 5, minus 1, 1, 4. Minus 5, minus 1, 1 and 4. So, here, sir, why to take those values only? I want to take minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, your wish. So, actually, they are asking when x equal to 7 and x equal to minus 8. Here, we have 2x plus 3y equal to 11. So, by taking 2x to that side, we can write 3y equal to 11 minus 2x. By dividing on both sides by 3, 11 minus 2x by 3. Now, in place of x, if you take minus 5, in place of x, if you take minus 5, y equal to 11 minus 2 into minus 5, minus 2 into minus 5 plus 10. So, 11 plus 10 by 3. 
so that equal to 21 by 3 equal to 7. Similarly, in place of x, if you write minus 1 after simplification, you will get y equal to 5. In place of x by taking 1 after simplification, you will get y equal to 3. In place of x by substituting 4 after, after simplifying, you will get y equal to 1. So, just like you can take two perpendicular lines uh, with respect to those perpendicular lines, you will get positive x axis, negative x axis, positive y axis, negative y axis. On positive x axis, you can take 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. On negative x axis, left side of 0, 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, so on. On positive y axis, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, so on. On negative x axis, 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, so on. Here we have minus 5, comma 7, minus 1, comma 5, 1, comma 3, 4, comma 1. Also, they are asking what is the value of y when x equal to 7. So, in place of x, if you take 7, in place of x, if you take 7, 11 minus 2 into 7, 14 by 3. 11 minus 14 is minus 3 by 3 equal to minus 1. So, in place of x, by writing 7, we got y equal to minus 1. According to the graph also, you will get same, y equal to minus 1. Next, x equal to minus 8. What is the value of y when x equal to minus 8? Again, in place of x, by writing minus 8, 11 minus 2 into minus 8. Minus into minus plus 2, 8, ja, 16 by 3. 16 plus 11, 27 by 3 equal to 9. So, here in place of x by writing minus 8, we got y equal to 9. According to the graph also, we will get 9. So, already I have explained in the previous problem how to take the x axis and y axis. So, just you can take the figure like this. So, here this is coordinate plane. So, this is x axis, this is y axis. So, we I have taken minus 5, minus 1, 1, 4. So, minus 5, comma 7. x is on negative x axis. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 negative values. 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. So, x equal to minus 5. When x equal to minus 5, we got 7. We got 7 means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then you will get this point. Okay. On positive x axis, you can take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so on. On negative x axis, you can take minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, so on. And minus 8. So, this is minus 8. On positive y axis, you can take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so on. On negative y axis, actually according to the values of y, we do not have the negative values of y, that is why here you need not to take. Now, if you take x equal to minus 5, the value of y is 7. x equal to minus 5 and y equal to 7 means this is the point D. Next, if x equal to minus 1, y equal to 5 x equal to minus 1, y equal to 5 means you can take the point C. Next, x equal to 1, y equal to 3. So, this is 1, this is 3. That is the point A. Next, x equal to 4, y equal to 1. So, this is x equal to 4, y equal to 1. And we have, when x equal to 7, y equal to minus 8. If x equal to 7, we got y equal to minus 1. So, x equal to 7, x equal to 7, y equal to minus 1 means this part. So, this is negative y axis. Next, x equal to minus 8, we got y equal to 9. So, x equal to minus 8 means this part and y equal to 9 means this part. So, by joining all these points, you will get a line. So, actually, I have taken in the table 4 values of x. According to those values of x, we got 4 values of y. From that, we got 4 points. 4 points. By extending on both sides, we got a straight line like this. So, this is the graph of the straight line. Uh, linear equation 2x plus 3y equal to 11. Hope you understood. No? Every problem very easy. So, just you can take the given equation, express that equation in terms of y, put some values of x. According to those values of x, you will get the values of y. Take a table after getting the values of x and y, express them as ordered pairs and you can plot them on the graph paper. So, from that you will get the uh, straight line. A x plus B y plus C equal to 0 equation always represents a straight line.
next no? draw the graph of y minus x equal to 2 draw the graph of y minus x equal to 2 y minus x equal to 2 so here if you take minus x to that side you will get y equal to x plus actually according to this table i have taken only two values of x so it is not necessary to take only two values you may take two values or whatever the number of values may be whatever the number of values may be so for example if you take x equal to minus 2 so then minus 2 plus 2 0 so y equal to 0 if you take x equal to minus 1 y equal to minus 1 plus 2 1 if you take x equal to 0 y equal to 0 plus 2 2 if you take x equal to 1 y equal to 1 plus 2 3 if you take x equal to 2 y equal to 2 plus 2 4 if you take x equal to 3 then you will get y equal to 3 plus 2 5 similarly you may take 4 5 it is not necessary to take integers if you want you can take fractions but if you take integer then you will get easy calculation if you take fractions then you may get lengthy calculation so that is why it is better to take integers now according to these values according to these values you can take 0 x axis y axis negative x axis and negative y axis so 1 2 3 4 so here we have taken up to 5 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 so 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 so on this is positive x axis on negative minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 so on on positive y axis 1 2 3 4 5 6 so on on negative y axis minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 so on so when x equal to minus 2 we have y equal to 0 x equal to minus 2 y equal to 0 means this is the point when x equal to minus 1 we have y equal to 1 so x equal to minus 1 y equal to 1 means we can take so this point x equal to minus 1 y equal to 1 next x equal to 0 y equal to 2 so x equal to 0 means on y axis so actually here when x equal to minus 1 y equal to 1 means you can take this point x equal to minus 1 y equal to 1 So, x equal to minus 1, so this is 1, y equal to 1, then you can take this point. Next, if you take x equal to 0, y equal to 2, x equal to 0, y equal to means you can take this. So, for every point on y axis, we know x coordinate is 0. Next, x equal to 1, y equal to 3, x equal to 1, y equal to 3 means we can take this point. Next, x equal to 2, y equal to 4, this is x equal to, this is y equal to 4, you will get this next x equal to 3 y equal to 5 so this is 3 y equal to 5 means this so by joining all these points we will get a straight line so actually here i am taking the rough diagram so by using graph paper pencil and scale exactly you will get a straight line after getting the straight line on both sides you can extend the line like this now this straight line represent the graph of y minus x equal to 2 so this is rough diagram only so this is the clear diagram for the given equation so according to the table here i have taken only two values of x 1 3 according to those values we got the values of y are 3 and 5 so 1 comma 3 and 3 comma 5 so for your understanding purpose i have taken some more values it is not necessary to take two values or three values or five values you may take any number of values of x according to those values of x you will get the values of y after getting them you can plot the points on the graph you will get a straight line so 1 comma 3 1 3 comma 5 uh, so actually we have taken only two points by joining those two points you will get this line you will get this part by extending the line on both sides like this then you will get the graph of the linear equation y minus x equal to 2 hope you understood this one next one draw the graphs of y equal to x and y equal to minus x in the same graph also find the coordinates of the point where the two lines intersect in the above problems we have only one equation in the form of ax plus by plus c equal to 0 here we have 
two lines y equal to x and y equal to minus x. Here first you can take the linear equation y equal to x by observing the given two equations do not have the constant term 0. So, actually linear equation in two variables means a x plus b y plus c equal to 0 a x plus b y plus c equal to 0, but c is not there for the given two equations. So, first one y equal to x y equal to x second one y equal to minus x here actually I have taken only two values here I have taken only two values 1 and 4. So, here you may if you want to take some negative value. So, for example, if you take x equal to minus 2 y is also minus 2 because y equal to x. If you take x equal to minus 1 y is also minus 1. If you take x equal to 0 y is also 0. If you take x equal to 1 y equal to 1. If you take x equal to 2 y equal to 2. If you take x equal to 3 y equal to 3 so on. So, these values represent the equation y equal to x. So, we have to draw the graphs of two lines y equal to x and y equal to minus x on the same graph. So, positive x axis, positive y axis, negative x axis, negative y axis 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1 minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, so on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so on. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, so on. So, just I am explaining the rough graph. Ma. In the next slide, we have the clear graph. So, next, if you take minus 2, x equal to minus 2, y equal to minus 2, x equal to minus 2, y equal to minus 2, you can take this x equal to minus 1 y equal to minus 1 x equal to minus 1 y equal to minus 1 you can take this x equal to 0 y equal to 0 so you can take this point next x equal to 1 y equal to 1 x 1 y 1 you can take this next x equal to 2 y equal to 2 so this x equal to 2 this y equal to 2 x equal to 3 y equal to 3 you get this next x equal to 4 y equal to 4 this is 4 this is 4 you will get this so by joining all these points you will get a straight line like this okay you will get a straight line like this next on extending this line on both sides this is the graph of y equal to x similarly by taking the same values minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 minus 4 like that so here we have minus 4 is also there so if you want you can take minus 3 minus 4 if you take x equal to minus 4 y equal to minus of minus plus 4. If you take x equal to minus 3 y equal to minus of minus plus 3. x equal to minus 2 y equal to minus of minus plus 2. x equal to minus 1 y equal to minus of minus plus 1. x equal to 0 y equal to 0. x equal to 1 y equal to minus 1. x equal to 2 y equal to minus 2 x equal to 3 y equal to minus 3. x equal to minus 4 y equal to plus 4. Okay. Now, by taking the ordered pairs minus 4 comma 4 x equal to minus 4 y equal to 4. So, this is minus 4 this is plus 4 x equal to minus 4 y equal to 4. Next minus 3 3 x equal to minus 3 y equal to 3. Next x equal to minus 2 y equal to 2. So, this is x equal to minus 2 and y equal to means you can take like this. Next x equal to minus 1 y equal to 1. So, x equal to minus 1 y equal to 1 you will get like this. Next 0 0 x equal to 0 y equal to 0. Next x equal to 1 y equal to minus 1. So, 1 and you can take this is minus 1. If you take x equal to 2 y equal to minus 2. If you take x equal to 3 we got y equal to minus 3. If you take x equal to 4 you will get y equal to minus 4. So, by joining all these points, you will get a line y equal to minus x. So, this is the line y equal to x. This is the line y equal to minus x. So, we have represented the graph of two equations y equal to x and y equal to minus x on the graph paper. So, just this is the rough diagram only for your understanding purpose, I have drawn the figure. So, here the clear graph is this. So, you can uh, take the clear graph like this. So, according to the table, I have taken only two values, but it is better to take some more values, some negative values, some positive values, 0 for both y equal to x and y equal to minus x. 
for both lines by drawing the graph we got like this one ok. By observing this graph where y equal to x line and y equal to minus x line both are passing through the origin. So, here one observation is there if the given equation actually standard form of the linear equation is a x plus b y plus c equal to 0 standard form of the equation is a x plus b y plus c equal to 0. If constant c is not there means if we have a x plus b y equal to 0 then we can say this equation will pass through the origin means 0 comma 0. If constant is not there in the given linear equation a x plus b y plus c equal to 0 then we can say that equation is passing through the origin. Origin means 0 comma 0. Hope you understood ma. Next. Here we have one descriptive problem. In the above problems directly they have given the linear equations in the form a x plus b y plus c equal to 0. So, according to those equations we have expressed the given equation in terms of x and we have taken some values of x. According to those values of x we got some values of y ok. Now, here we have one descriptive problem. The taxi fare in a city is as follows. For the first kilometer the fare is 8 rupees. For the subsequent distance it is 5 rupees per kilometer taking the distance covered as x kilometer and total fare as y rupees. Write a linear equation for this information and draw its graph. Actually they have not given the linear equation. We have to form the linear equation with respect to the given data. The taxi fare in a city is as follows. For the first kilometer, so for example 10 kilometers is there, 10 kilometers distance is there for the first kilometer the fare is 8 rupees out of 10 kilometers for first kilometer the fare is 8 rupees for the subsequent distance. So, by excluding one the remaining distance is 9 kilometers for the for kilometer 5 rupees. So, 9 5 is a 45 rupees first kilometer 8 rupees total 53 rupees ok. Now, taking the distance covered as x kilometer and the total fare as y rupees. Write a linear equation for this information and draw its graph. So, already they have given distance is x kilometers and amount equal to y rupees, amount equal to y rupees. So, given that, so given that means according to the given problem distance equal to, distance equal to x kilometers and amount equal to y rupees, amount equal to y rupees ok. Now, we have to form a linear equation. So, total distance x kilometers, total distance x kilometers if you take the first kilometer out of x kilometers by taking first kilometer the fare is given as 8 rupees, the fare is given as 8 rupees. For the subsequent distance by excluding 1 kilometer the remaining distance is x minus 1 kilometers. So, out of 10 kilometers by excluding first 1 kilometer the remaining distance is 10 minus 1 9 kilometers. Just like the total distance is taken as x kilometers by excluding first 1 kilometer the remaining distance is x minus 1 kilometer. For this x minus 1 kilometer they are uh, paying 5 rupees the charge is given as for the subsequent distance it is 5 rupees per kilometer. So, we have to multiply x minus 1 by 5 and for the first kilometer the fare is given as 8 rupees. So, we can write y equal to 5 into x minus 1 plus 8. So, this is the linear equation but we have to simplify that. So, we have to express that in the form of a x plus b y plus c equal to 0. According to the problem the total distance is x kilometers and the total amount is y rupees. But here first kilometer they are paying uh, 8 rupees. For the remaining distance they are paying 5 rupees per the kilometer. So, since the total distance is x by excluding first 1 kilometer the remaining distance is x minus 1. 
So by multiplying x minus 1 by 5, so you will get y equal 5 into x minus 1, the fare of first 1 kilometer that is 8 rupees. So by simplifying y equal to 5 into x, 5x, 5 into minus 1 minus 5 plus 8. So y equal to 5x, 8 minus 5 is 3. Now, this is the linear equation. According to that linear equation, you can take some values, but according to this table, I have taken only 0 and 1. It is better you can take some negative values and some positive values, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, like that. So, if you take x equal to minus 2, y equal to 5 into minus 2, minus 10 plus 3, minus 7. If you take x equal to minus 1, 5 into minus 1, minus 5 plus 3, minus 2. If you take x equal to 0, y equal to 3. If you take x equal to 1, y equal to 8. So, where by taking 0, 3 and 1, 8 as the points on the graph paper, you will get like this. So, this is 0, 3, this is 1, 8. So, by joining A and B, by joining A and B, so this is B, this is A. By joining A and B, we got one line on both sides by extending like this, you will get a straight line that is y equal to 5x plus 3. Okay? So, actually here the, the above problems directly, they have given the equation in the form of ax plus by plus c equal 0, but here they have not given. According to the given problem, we have formed a linear equation like this and we have taken some values of x. According to those values of x, we got some values of y. After getting the values of x and y, by taking them as ordered pairs and by plotting them on the graph paper, you will get like this. Okay? So, these are some problems related to how to represent the points on the graph paper according to the given problem. Next, let us discuss equations of lines parallel to x axis and y axis. Already in coordinate geometry, we have discussed about the coordinate axis. Coordinate axis means x axis and y axis. Now, the graph of the equation x equal 0 is y axis. The graph of the equation x equal to 0 is y axis. For every point on x axis, the coordinate of y is 0. That is why we can take the graph of x equal 0 is y axis. Similarly, the graph of y equal 0 is the x axis means the equation of x axis is y equal to 0. x axis is nothing but y equal to 0. y axis is nothing but x equal to 0. Next, the graph of the equation x equal to k is a line parallel to the y axis at a distance of k units to its right. Okay. The graph of the equation x equal to k is a line parallel to the y axis at a distance of k units to its right. Next, the graph of the equation x equal to minus k is a line parallel to the y axis at a distance of k units to its left. Okay. So, actually already we know about x axis and y axis with respect to the coordinate plane in coordinate geometry. So, the graph of the equation x equal 0 is y axis. If anyone asks you what is the equation of y axis, you can take x equal to 0. The graph of the equation y equal to 0 is the x axis. Means, if anyone asks you what is the equation of x axis, simply you can say y equal to 0. The graph of the equation x equal to k is a line parallel to the y axis at a distance of k units to its right. Next, the graph of the equation x equal to minus k is a line parallel to the y axis at a distance of k units to its left. So, these are some points uh, regarding to x axis and y axis and the lines parallel to x axis and y axis. So, we can discuss the problem related to these concepts in the next class. Okay? So, hope you understood all the problems and concepts which we have discussed in today class. So, we can discuss the problems related to these concepts in the next class. So, thank you all my dear students for subscribing to Rito. Have a nice day.